Hey folks, in this video, let's twist the knobs of this nice Marshall Studio Vintage, which is actually a mini plexi, and try to get as close as possible from three very famous and desired tones. Before jumping into the action, you can find the signal chain and the gear details in the description box, along with the timestamps of this video, so don't forget to check this out. Without further ado, let's go for what we came for. Sorry, I don't have a SG. Here I will give to you two options of amp dialing and you can pick the one you like better. What you just heard is the option number one. Presents one, bass, middle and treble three, loudness one six, loudness two eight. The guitar is plugged into the higher input one and there is a patch cable connecting the lower input one to the higher input number two. This patch cable allows me to use the higher treble loudness combined with the normal loudness. If you're not familiar with this amp, the high treble controls the volume of the input number one, while the normal controls the volume of the input number two. The input number one will give you more high frequencies, while the input number two is darker. Using a patch cable, you can blend them together as you like, giving you that glorious Marshall Plexiton. And here is the second option. This time I'm keeping the guitar plugged into the higher input number one, but not using the patch cable. Presence is gonna be three, bass one, middle four, treble six and a half, loudness one seven, and loudness two doesn't matter.
It is a good starting point to get a little close to Billy Gibbons tone. Presents 1, bass 1, middle 9, treble 9, loudness 1, 8.5, loudness 2, 2. The guitar is again plugged to the higher input number 1, and there is a patch cable connecting the lower input number 1 to the higher input number 2, but there is a little secret to shape the mid range. The Ibanez Tube Screamer TS9 with the drive all the way down, the level all the way up, and the tone control around 9 o'clock. <laughs> tricky one. Mickey Mars tones changed a lot from the very mid-focus tone of the first album passing by Girls 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 and the great Dr. Feelgood. To be honest, for me it's literally impossible to hit the exact tone of Mickey Mars without investing a lot of money. But here is a good starting point. Presents at 3, bass at 8, middle and treble at 7, Loudness 1 at 7, loudness 2 at 7. The guitar is plugged into the lower input 1 and the patch cable is connecting the high input 1 to the lower input number 2. <laughs> Mick Mars had some amps with the famous Jose mods, the same man who did some mods on Van Halen's amps. Trying to compensate this extra gain stage, I'm adding to the signal chain the MXR micro amp. And of course, chorus. <laughs> The two presets for the Torpedo Capture X along with the nice material about this video and all my past videos are available on the Patreon page. 
If you made you here, it's time to smash the like button. For more videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel. But for now, that's all. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive and kicking. See you!